Hey YouTube, it's Brendan. A video describing exponential growth and exponential growth equations. When dealing with exponential growth, it's a type of growth that we're not as familiar with. Uh, we tend to think in linear terms as people, whereas exponential growth is something increasing by a factor or increasing by a percentage. And we have two different equations to help us describe this. One equation is y is equal to a times b to the x. And in this equation, y represents your amount at some point in the future. a is going to represent your initial value. And b is going to represent your growth factor. So for example, if it's doubling or if it's tripling, uh, then b would be 2 or it would be 3. And we also have an exponential equation when we're dealing with percent increases or decreases. So this would be something like a is equal to p times 1 plus or minus r raised to the t. And in this, p represents your initial value. And r is going to represent your rate of change or your percent increase or decrease. So how can we use these equations? We tend to use them with things like bank accounts that are paying interest rates, maybe stock market returns, or perhaps describing a very relevant thing right now would be the coronavirus and how quickly it spreads. So let's maybe write out a few examples of questions that we can evaluate using exponential growth. So one question might be something like, uh, Jimmy wants to start saving money. So Jimmy is saving money for his retirement. If Jimmy invests, um, let's say $10,000 today, and Jimmy receives a 12% rate of return, write an equation modeling Jimmy's uh, growth or his savings over time. So for this equation, we know that we would use the form uh, on the right side here. And we know that because it's a percent change. So we know A is the amount Jimmy has at some point in the future. P would be $10,000. Now, R always needs to be written as a decimal, so if it's a 12% rate of return, we're going to have 1 plus 0.12, which is going to be 1.12 raised to the T. Now, the amazing thing about exponential growth is how quickly it sneaks up on you and how this $10,000, which is a pretty big sum of money, uh, but how quickly this can grow into a massive sum of money. So let's say Jimmy starts saving this money when he is, I don't know, 25, right? Finally got his first job out of college, has some savings. Let's figure out how much money Jimmy would have by the time he's 65. So between 25 and 65, well, that's going to be 40 years. So Jimmy is going to have 10,000 times 1.12 raised to the 40th. And what we're going to find is that Jimmy, by the time he retires, is going to have a pretty nice nest egg of $930,000, uh, five, not $930,509.70. $930, so by just saving $10,000 and stocking it away in an account that had a pretty good rate of return, uh, Jimmy was able to basically become a millionaire by the time he was 65. Another example might be something related to the spread of a pandemic. So let's say there are currently, and this is pretty much uh, accurate, um, I'm doing this on March 22nd, 2020. So let's say there are currently, we'll just say about 350,000 cases of coronavirus 
if the number of cases doubles every week, and it, it seems to be right now that it's maybe doubling every four or five days, but let's just, let's just go with every week, uh, then how many cases will there be in 10 weeks? So you can see why people are so scared of this coronavirus if you understand exponential growth. For this, we're going to use the equation on the left here, uh, where A is going to be our initial value and B is going to be our growth factor. And what we'll find is the number of coronavirus cases, which I'm going to say is A, will be equal to 350,000 times 2 raised to the T. Well, in 10 weeks, that just means that we're going to plug in 10 for T, so A is going to equal 350,000 times 2 to the 10th. And go ahead and plug this into a calculator right here. And we find that 350,000 times 2 raised to the 10th is a very, very, very large number. So I've got 3, 5, 8, 4, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So let's put commas in so we can really see the magnitude of this value. So that is 358,400,000 cases of coronavirus in just 10 weeks. Now, if it doubles every week, this is what happens. But part of the reason that everyone's saying flatten the curve is we're actually trying to slow down the spread of coronavirus by decreasing how quickly it can spread from person to person. And that's why I'm alone in an office right now making this video. So I hope you found this video helpful, not just for the SAT, but also understanding how exponential growth can really help you in real life, right? If you invest money at a young age and you give it time to compound, you'll find that you have a ton of money waiting for you when you're much older. But then you can also see the dangers of exponential growth in a very applicable case of coronavirus doubling every week. 350,000 people, which might seem like nothing compared to 7 billion people in the world. But in 10 weeks, that number could very easily become 350 million people. So thank you for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. And I'll see you in the next one.